Hi, this is Matt Lynch, CIO with Green Data Incorporated. This is going to be a demonstration of Bates stamping or Bates numbering. This is the process of placing identifying numbers and or dates and times on legal, medical, and business documents. As your business takes advantage of a paperless environment, Bates stamping is used so that your documents can be easily identified and accessed once they have been scanned in. In this example, we are adding Bates stamping to a Horn, Wallace, and Higgins 1991 case file of Bateman versus the U.S. Department of Commerce using Adobe Acrobat Pro 10. Select the file that you wish to add the Bates numbering to. The first step is simply selecting where on the document you would like to place the Bates number. In this example, I'll be placing it in the right footer. Once this is done, there are a couple more options that you need to specify or customize. If you wish to add a date in addition to the Bates number, you do have that option. You simply select the format for which you would like the date to appear. You have additional options when it comes to the Bates number as well. Depending on the size of your firm and how many documents you have, you can adjust the number of digits so that the Bates number can accommodate all of your files. Furthermore, you can then add a prefix or a suffix to the Bates number to further differentiate your documents. In the case of Horn, Wallace, and Higgins, they have different types of files such as civil, business, legal, etc. So in this example, I'm going to be adding a prefix to identify this as one of their civil files. Once complete, you will be able to preview the Bates number before continuing. And once you select OK, you can see the Bates number was added to each page of your file in the place you specify making your document retrieval easy and simple. And once again, this has been Matt Lynch, CIO of Green Data Incorporated with another software simulation.